Good morning, so it is 1 a.m. I don't even know if that is even qualified as the morning, but yeah, it's 1 a.m. We are waiting for our driver to pick us up to drive us to a volcano that is active so we can hike up it in complete darkness and watch the sunrise from it from the top. And I'm a little nervous because I don't know, I've never hiked at night before, but it sounds so sick. Like I'm literally about to hike an active volcano to watch the sunrise. Like it's not an everyday thing. And definitely not doing this by myself. My friend and I booked this Airbnb experience. So someone picks us up, they take us up the volcano. Everything's kind of sorted out for us. So we don't really have to think about it because I wouldn't know where to go if I'm hiking up a volcano in complete darkness in Indonesia. So yeah, I am really tired. I only slept one hour and the driver will be here any minute now. So I guess I will talk to you when I'm at the volcano. See you there. Hey, so we made it to the mountain. It's so dark right now. <laughs> oh my God. But it is a two hour trek. So right now it is three in the morning. We're hopefully gonna get to the top at five in the morning. You can't see, but there are stars out. It is just insane how dark it is. Obviously, it's so dark. I don't know why I expected it to be a little moonlit, but there's no moon. It's like a new moon, so we're doing this in the complete darkness. Oh. Oh. Update, field blisters forming. We're now leading the tour, we're in the front. <laughs> so everyone's following us. Yeah. We're the tour guides. <laughs> we're about halfway up the mountain slash volcano. It's pretty tiring, but we're gonna make it. Whoa, Rocky! Oh my god. Whoa. So we're about 40 minutes until the top, and it's actually really tiring. We're dying. We're actually dying up here. But I wish I could show you the stars because there's so many stars right now. Just can't capture it. I'm throwing in some stock footage of the starry sky so you can get an idea of what it looked like. You're welcome. We made it to the top. It is yeah. five in the morning. The sun doesn't rise until six. So right now we're just looking at the view of the lights from below in the town. And the sun is gonna rise over there above this other hill. And so we just have an hour to wait. And I'm just so glad that we made it. It wasn't too bad, honestly. The hike up here is very doable. It wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. Like, it's very gradual. But yeah, I will talk to you when the sun rises. They made us breakfast. <laughs> Banana sandwiches. The sun is rising. We are watching it on top of a volcano right now. Good morning. <laughs> I'm just in awe, I have no words. Casually above the clouds on top of a volcano. You know, just typical morning in Bali. Chilling above the clouds. You know, casual. No big deal. 
This might be one of the coolest things I've ever done. <laughs> Literally above the clouds. I just honestly cannot believe my life right now. I'm just so happy and grateful. It's gonna take an hour and a half and it's gonna be way better. It's actually really cool because we didn't know what any of this looked like on the way up. bottom and there it is we were just all the way up there it doesn't even look that big but it's huge just gotta trust my word for it how i don't know how i actually climbed that Hey, so I just edited the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really honestly loved going back and looking at the footage because it was one of the highlights of my life. That hike was just amazing. And I just wanted to end the video because I realized that I forgot to do that because I was just so tired after the hike. I just collapsed in the car back to my Airbnb and just slept for an entire day. So back in February when I went on this hike, I posted all about it on Instagram and I got a lot of questions about it. So I thought I should take this time to just answer those questions and let you know the whole rundown in my experience since it's happened a while and I've, I've had time to process it, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna answer the questions that I got commented on my pictures and all the content that I posted about from the hike. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, are you ready? I'm. I think I'm ready, okay. How much was the tour? So I mentioned in the beginning of this video that it's an Airbnb experience and mine was $24, which I think is a really good deal considering they picked me up and drove me all the way to a volcano and then led me up the volcano. And there are a lot of other Airbnb experiences that offer this. Do you have to watch out for any animals? So I like to scare myself and before I go anywhere exotic, I like to Google the types of venomous snakes in the area so I could just watch out for them. And in Bali, there are spitting cobras, tree vipers, cobras, just uh, the list goes on and on. It's a very scary list, but it's very rare to actually see a venomous snake. I'm not really afraid of anything else in the wild besides snakes. Like, I could see a big bear and just not care. It's just, if I see a snake, I'm gonna run. So, I told myself before going to Bali that if I ever came across a spitting cobra, I'd be on the next flight out. So luckily that didn't happen, but even our tour guide told us that there was nothing to worry about, there were no animals, he has never seen a snake, and he lives in Bali. So no, you don't have to watch out for any animals. Do you recommend doing this? When I tell you that this was one of the highlights of my 22 years on Earth, I'm not kidding. But yes, if you're in Bali, you should 100% do this. I don't think my trip would have been complete without doing this. Just do it, okay? I feel like it shaped me into the person that I am today. So if I didn't do it, I just wouldn't feel as complete. Where should I stay to do this hike? So I don't know of anyone that has ever stayed next to Mount Bertour. I don't think you could actually stay by the volcano. But I stayed in Seminyak. It's a very popular place. People stay in Bali, but you could also stay in Abud, Chenggu, like anywhere you'll get picked up. But I think if you stay in Abud, it'll be closer. Do you need special gear? No, I just wore Vans, as you saw, and I was given the flashlight from the tour guide. So they basically, like, we didn't need anything, honestly. It just, I wouldn't wear flip-flops. Those were all the most frequently asked questions, FAQs, as the kids say. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And and subscribe the buttons down there if you watch this because you're actually going to Bali and you're gonna do this hike have the time of your life I'm so excited for you if you just watch this because you're a subscriber of mine hi I love you I see you you're the best so 
yeah, I will see you next time.